I'd like to start, or, or rather dedicate this video really, to all the ugly big headed niggas out there, specifically when you just got a big ass head. I don't know why ugly generally falls to, you know, go hand in hand with that, but just all my big headed niggas out there, man, y'all really be holding it down with the dome pieces, just reflecting the sunlight off your shit, making sure you give us shade, making sure the ozone layer is a lot more safer for us and shit. Shout out to my boy, Daryl Griffith, dog. He is... Honestly, he got the largest dome piece in all of my team right now And I feel like that somehow helps him slam all the fuck over anybody who he might be driving on in the rim at the rim Right, so Daryl Griffith now really Evo cards man. I really love them so much Please tell me what y'all's favorite part of my team has been so far what gets you on my team Honestly, it has been finishing all-time Dom obviously, but also Evo cards So this Daryl Griffith right? Uh, he is, if you've used him before in like last year 2k, he had some, you know, jemmy cards here and there before. But right now, I guess maybe, you remember Daryl Armstrong, the Evo card that came out like two weeks ago? This is like a shooting guard version of him, and he can also play small forward. But when I say that, I just mean to say he just fucking dunks. He dunks everything. If you're still running down, if you're finishing all-time down like me, he's one of those sideline cheese dunkers that you want to go and grab and use. Uh, he just takes off and posterizes niggas, man. He really just makes the game easy if you can find yourself a lane. Uh, and the best part about it is that he also comes with a mid-range jump shot and a serviceable three-pointer. Now, when you evolve him, he does end up getting all gold shooting badges. Not the crazy ones, like range extender shit like that, but just the very useful ones. So, like, flexible release, green machine, the ones that makes it easy to just work within that uh, three-point line. And he does already come with quick draw. And his jump shot is not AIDS. It's actually quite simple to pull off. And it's weird, but I would actually compare this card to using, like, a young Kobe. And I, actually, the reason I haven't really gone out to get Kobe is because I feel like I... And first of all, the shooting guard small forward position is so stacked early on this year. But I feel like I get what I need out of a young Kobe from this Daryl Griffith. Because when he's completely evolved, he has a 99 dunk. Like, he had a 90 ball control, I believe. And then when I have my coach and everything on, on him, he has almost a 93 pointer. And then his mid range is almost 19. Like, he is young Kobe, essentially, the way that he takes off and finishes. So, God damn, this nigga's head is massive. How do y'all feel about Evo cards and my team? Really, just my team so far. I might dedicate a, I might dedicate a video to that completely this week. I probably should. But Evo cards, I think have given reason to grind not just for MT, but because it improves your team. Now by that, I mean like, I have not completed Domination yet, right? And that's because I just don't have a lot of chunks of time during the week. The week, I play during the weekend. Now, this Daryl Griffith, when he's fully evolved at Diamond, would theoretically be better than all of the Diamond's uh, perimeter players that are on the reward market. Unless you're talking about shooting, in which case, yes, uh, you know, Peja, uh, not Peja, uh, Kiki, Glenn Rice, and Drazen would all be better than him. But as far as creating, finishing, uh, just an all-around kind of scorer, I think he is better than all of them when he's completely evolved at Diamond. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, and that's the beauty of this, because I'm not at that board yet, but if I really, really wanted him to be Diamond, in theory, I could just take this entire day, take one day, maybe a day and a half, and just grind out against the Domination CPU against um, Rookie Difficulty. That would, that would be it, and I would get him to Diamond, and then he would pay, uh, basically be the best player on my team. So, not only is it a way to make MT, but it's a, a what, what's the term I'm looking for? It's an alternative to getting good and better players when you don't have maybe the time or the MT to go and get them by other means, if that makes sense. So that's just me, man. This Daryl Griffith is the shit. I love him so far. I imagine you saw the deliverance of Nutsack that he did to Dirk just now. But he just makes a lot of contested layups, which is why I love him. That's why I love him in Domination, finishing in Domination too, because just, he makes the game easier. And assuming that contested layups are just as aids online, then he should translate just fine. Uh, and as I've checked the auction house, I've noticed that he's, I don't know, I think on Xbox anyway, people are willing to pay for him, but just not willing to pay too much, because I've saw him, I've seen him go for like 150,000, the first diamond someone has evolved him. There's a couple of them floating around, and people tend to pay, they're looking like they're paying within 100 to 120,000, so not more than Kobe, around the same price as Kobe. 
Also, I'ma just go on acting like James Donaldson didn't just absolutely fucking massacre my shit. I hate that. That's my least favorite part about domination. When you have these no-name niggas that just never did anything. They you never heard of them in your entire life. But because 2K CPU is the way it is, they're going to do something that's just like, who the fuck are you? What, how did you just do that? You're not supposed to be able to do that to me. Shout out to the big head homie, Daryl Griffith, though, man. I have really been... I don't know, maybe it's, I guess, because I don't have as much time to play that I look forward to my sessions of playing and grinding through my team because throughout the week, I'm just, I'm just looking forward to when I can just sit at home, not do shit, eat, beat my dick, and then play some of my team. That's, that's literally my favorite part about the week. Uh, other than that, I'm busy as shit, and I gotta focus on shit and, you know, be a responsible adult. And that's just a lot of responsibility, man. For anybody who may have used the Diamond Daryl, though, let me know, and if you use the Amethyst, let me know if you feel the difference. Is this card really worth it as a Diamond? Because it just looks like it should be. Uh, and he plays like he should be. So confirm that for me so I can go on and continue to evolve this one myself.